Well, talk about a crappy day. This really puts a damper on my solar day. Can't imagine there's much coming through there at all. Let's check it out. Well, about as much as suspected, we're getting 15 watts. I don't know why this meter does that, but uh, not very good. 12 watts. There's the one on the left. That one's got the uh, 300 watt uh, sun grid tie. It's got two 65 watt ones. That one in the center is, I have to check now. That one is the uh, 600 watt. It's got uh, 460 watts on it and it is doing not much of anything. And that one there has the afternoon panels on it. It's only got one uh, 295 watt panel. I mean, uh, the lights are moving, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. Same with uh, same with that one. Well, maybe not. Not really. It's just kind of freaking out. Not too happy. There's our battery bank. 12.6. We're getting a whopping 1.1 amps in there. Nice. 20 watts. I love it. The uh, two 65 watt panels there on the post. <clears throat> Still hooked up to this little 300. Lights are moved along, but uh, there is nothing coming in. Brutal. Anyways, let's uh, scrape some panels off, see if we can't make a difference. Well, I got some snow off of that one. It just keeps snowing harder, I, I think, when uh, I start scraping it for some reason. Of course, why wouldn't it? So those ones there, they have uh, a little bit of snow on them. Obviously, zero sun. I managed to get uh, the first two cleared off. The third one, I can't reach that, so whatever. At least, uh, at least it's something. Let's see if uh, that made any kind of difference. I'm sure, it did, but not much. Let's check the uh, 265 watt ones. I think those lights are moving about the same speed as they were before. There, we're getting a half an amp. Beauty. Let's see what's going on here. Our total, well, that's definitely an improvement. I'll take that over nothing. The uh, 265 watt ones, 8 watts. There's 460 watts doing its thing. Lights aren't freaking out anymore, they're actually moving along okay. And this one here on the front of the shed, one of the 295s, it's moving okay. It's giving us 22. So, I will take that over nothing. See how the batteries are doing. So, five amps, five and a half amps coming in. 70 watts, batteries are up to 13. So that one there has, uh, has the afternoon panels, two of the, uh, 295 watts on the front of the shed and then I believe the one panel I couldn't clear off uh, that's facing south the 230 watt one so it went from I think it was 20 watts before to 70 but uh, I'm sure Mr. Batteries are gonna like that don't mind the wires I got a bunch of junk here to clean up but uh, that one on the far left there it's not hooked up there was one there but uh, it, these couple came out of the golf cart. It was shorted out, so <clears throat> I've got to return it, exchange it, and then I'll uh, I'll just add it into here, and then I'll just get some new batteries in the spring for the golf cart. Keep these ones. They're decent, but they're they're older. They're uh, as you can see, they're not the same. Those are the Trojan T105s. Uh, the Econo powers are six volt deep cycle golf cart batteries. They have the exact same rating. They're uh, same amp hours, same size, and uh, all golf cart batteries, but. They're, uh, they're better than nothing for sure. It'll help us out in a power outage. So there we go, all 5.6 amps. 107, not bad. Cool. Anyways, just thought I'd uh, show you guys what kind of a crappy day we're having. 
We'll talk to you later.